This is Natalie Calbat here with defensive lineman Cody Temple. Cody, normally for a lot of athletes and players, being in the weight room is a chore. Now I know that lifting is a passion for you. How did this solid relationship in the weight room come about? Uh, really, it started with going into high school. I mean, I was always a big guy. I've been close to the same height since eighth grade, and weight was always something that I had an advantage of when I was younger. And when I got to high school, it was the first time I ever was in a weight room, and my coaches got me into it, and there was just that connection. So I started going from football season. As soon as it was done, I'd go into powerlifting competitions with my strength coach, and my football coaches just kept pushing me. And every year it was just football to powerlifting competitions, and then track came along. So going from powerlifting and Olympic lifting, it really helped me develop into the, the body that I have and the strength that I have to be able to do the movements. And I really put a lot of what I had in the weight room, a big reason of why I am that I'm here. Speaking of being pretty well-rounded on and off the field, you took yoga all summer. What was the most beneficial part of that? Really, it was I've had a lot of injuries since I've been here, the ankles and the lower back when I initially got here, and it was just about getting the flexibility back. My body wasn't where it needed to be. I was really tight and wasn't allowed to do a lot of movements because of the, the fractures and the surgery. So it was just something that I saw a chance to not just waste the summer and like some guys wanted to just stay home and play video games. I wanted to take advantage, you know, my senior year. I've already missed three years of college and do the most that I could to be able to prepare myself for the team. I know that you have a passion for building and fixing electronic stereo systems. May have gotten you in trouble, you know, in the dorms, but how did this come about? Uh, it was just something me and my dad uh, got into when I was in high school. It was just... We love listening to music. Every time we would go out to work with them, it was something about, all right, it's not loud enough, it doesn't sound good enough. And then we started looking into it, and then we started buying here and there. And then we started getting into some uh, competition uh, brands, and people started contacting us about if we could build boxes for them, connect it for them, hook it up. And it was just something that became a hobby. And it carried over with me here, something I like to do on my trucks, friends, anybody wants to do it. It's something that I like to do, a big time hobby. And I, uh, I've, I've enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun and something that I like. Freshman year, had to learn a little bit of a when and where to play it at the level that I did. But it's something that I enjoy. It's definitely something that I'd like to do. I'd rather spend my time tinkering on my stereo and my electronics than going out on the weekends. <laughs> you have these luscious, long, golden locks. What's the story behind them? It really it was something, as a kid, I always wanted to grow my hair out just because I thought it was part of the thing. But uh, I've had some family members who had cancer. My grandma she went through cancer. A couple other grandparents had passed away. And it was something that I started to see is. You know, I may be an athlete, I may have my hair under a helmet all the time, it may be damaged, but at least it's representing support towards the cause. And uh, I grew it out through high school for my grandma, cut it when I got here, <clears throat> and uh, I wasn't really planning on growing it out again, but my grandma ended up getting cancer again, and then a high school teammate of mine, James Lyles, ended up passing away from cancer. So I saw it as another chance, you know, this time I'd be able to actually donate it and try and take it a step further of, what I'm trying to support and it does, all I got to do is spend an extra few minutes in the shower washing my hair a little better but uh, it's just something for a cause it's, it's nothing for looks and it's not trying to represent who I am it's just uh, being supportive. So, Cody you just had a healthy baby boy Tyson how has it been adjusting to being a father now? It's a little difficult being away and I, it's definitely a, a challenge because being the baby of six and, you know, always being around family, it's a little different being away. And uh, I just look at it, you know, the day he was here, it changed everything, you know. A 30-minute nap, you can go a whole day. So it changed your mindset coming out to practice of, oh, you're tired, we got a full pad day. It really put it into the, you know, the mindset that the coaches are looking for about it's a work day, you get up, you want to practice, you have to practice, like it's – me telling myself I have to practice, not, oh, I have to practice because, you know, that's what I have to do. It's what I want to do. So it really changes everything for the better. And I think that it reminded me of why I'm here because to me, family is everything. And family is close friends, you know, people that I trust. It doesn't just have to be blood. And 
you know, all my brothers that I'm out here every day with and the coaches, it's something that helped remind me because, you know, going through as a freshman, going through injuries, you kind of get sidetracked and a little bit lost. And, uh, I mean, the day he came, it changed everything. I thought I was prepared for it, you know, the entire way up. And then the day he finally arrived, then it hit. And every day since, it just keeps getting better and better and better. It gives you something to fight and work for. Any more on the way? Not yet. Not yet. We, we've actually talked about it, but I do want to secure a future, whether it's playing in the next league, finding a job, possibly even if it's a strength and conditioning thing, something that I can carry over with that. But uh, I do want to you know, secure something in the future. That way I could support my family because I don't want to have a, a lot of kids with uh, – incapable of being able to support them and being able to take them to Disneyland and, you know, let them enjoy their childhood. So it's definitely a thought, and I've always wanted a lot of kids, but we'll see how it goes. Congratulations on everything, and, and good luck this Thursday against Washington. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That is our report from the USC campus. For Cody Temple, I'm Natalie Calbat with We Are SC.